I controlled my neighbor's TV for six months from my phone and made him sell the TV. Now I regret it. Last year I had an asshole neighbor who always would be playing loud music, be rude to everyone, and not pick up his dog's shit when they would go for walks right outside the building. The dog had a barking problem too, but I'm not hating on the dog. One evening I had problems with the internet and for shits and giggles I tried to connect to my neighbor's Wi-Fi with a password, 0123456789. Guess what, it connected. The same evening at 11 p.m. I started hearing shitty drum and bass from my neighbor's apartment as usual and all of a sudden I see a pop-up appear on my phone. I have a Samsung phone and when you open the YouTube app on any Samsung smart TV, a pop-up appears on your phone with the TV casted YouTube app. You have full control of TV YouTube on your phone. Pause, play, volume, skip video if it's a playlist, choose a different recommended video, etc. At first I did not realize what the pop-up was and just thought, WTF is this. I thought my phone was glitching. There were options, pause, forward, volume, etc. I pressed pause and all of a sudden there was silence in my neighbor's apartment. After a few seconds the music started again, and I saw that the play button turned to a pause button again on my phone. I pressed pause again, music disappeared and behind the wall I hear, what the fuck. I cannot describe the feelings I had in that moment, my facial expression must have looked like that Chris Pratt meme from Parks and Rec, Boohoo Snop. The music started playing again and again I pressed pause. Now I'm hearing grunts and profanities from my neighbor. I could feel his confusion and anger through the walls. I had never felt so much power in my life. God, universe, or whatever you want to call it had blessed me with a gift. I kept fucking with him that evening. Pause, skip video, turn the volume up and down. He tried turning TV on and off, logging in and out of his YouTube account and nothing seemed to work. He was so pissed off. Ah, it was the first time I was happy that the walls in our building are so thin. This went on for days. Turned out he mostly used YouTube on his TV to watch videos, podcasts, even to play music. He was going completely insane. He did switch to Spotify for music. But still, every time he wanted to watch a podcast or some videos I was there, ready and waiting for him to feel my wrath. Throughout the next few months I heard him call customer support multiple times, making him reset the TV to factory settings, logging in and out of YouTube app countless of times. Sometimes I would stop messing with it for a couple of days to give him false hope. Then all of a sudden when I hear him watching some comedy podcast that he is enjoying I would start playing another video for him. He would literally scream. Long story short, after six months of this as I'm walking down the hallway on day I saw a random couple carrying the TV out of his apartment and him holding cash in his hand. I drove him to selling the TV and buying a new one. In that moment I felt bad and started to regret my actions. Felt kind of childish about the fact that I had been doing this for six months.